Here we're at the cottage. Uh, we're up here to replace the deck. It needs to be replaced. Uh, it's deteriorated pretty badly. We put it off for a number of years. Uh, the deck's about 40 feet long and the hand railings, everything's got to be replaced. Uh, it doesn't meet uh, the standards of today anymore, so we're going to replace it. Here you can see how badly the corner has deteriorated over the years. Yes, I had the hand ripping down this deck, uh, my brother John, and uh, we had the girls with us. And uh, it took us about an hour and a half to rip down this deck. Sorry I don't have any photos on it, but that's the way it goes. Here we're removing the old footings from the pillars, and we're going to be putting in new ones. Here I've got a collection of tools I brought up. Never know what you need and what you don't need, but sure enough, if you don't bring it up, that's the tool you need. Here we got some nice sandy soil to drill in the post holes. We're doing it by a manual post hole auger and a shovel. A number of years ago, I replaced the side deck here. Uh, you'll notice I've got flashing over top of the main beam. Anytime you laminate a beam together, there's a good chance of water getting trapped between the lamination and it'll rot out the beam prematurely. So this method, it works, but now with the new one, I've devised a different method. Here we got the holes uh, all done here. Uh, we got the sauna tubes in the holes and the posts in the sauna tube and filled around with concrete. They're nice and lined and nice and plumb. Here I'm trimming up a 2x8. Those are the main support beams that we're going to have for our deck. Here we're bolting on the main girder to the 4x4 post. Okay, here we have a 2x6. Uh, they'll be our floor joists. Uh, we have the joist hanger mounted over onto the ledger plates. All our fasteners are galvanized so they won't rust. This is the method I'd like to use now. I've got a 2x8 on either side of the 4x4 and the only place where the water can get trapped now is at the post. Anywhere else it's not going to happen. Against the cottage you'll notice the ledger plate there. Right above it there you'll see this galvanized flashing. This is to divert the water away from your ledger plate. You don't want the ledger prodding away on you. Here we got our floor joists. They're 24 on center. They're fastened in the hangers and we got them toe nailed to the main girder. Here we're nailing on the header on the end of your floor joists. Here we're installing 2x6 deck boards. We used a uh, air nailer. All the fasteners are galvanized. We don't want anything to rust out. Here I'm uh, just using a board here to get the spacing right for the last course. Here we notch the 4x4s. The top will receive the rail and the bottom will be mounted to the deck with leg screws. As you can see last night we put the deck chairs out there. We didn't miss our deck much. So we had a nice evening last night uh, relaxing and the next morning uh, we got right back to it. Here we mounted our 4x4 posts and uh, they're countersinked and pre-drilled and we fastened them with a three and a half inch leg bolts. Two of them and we're mounting one up next to the cottage and then we'll be working on the other end finishing the mounting of the post. Okay here we've installed the capping all the way around we use 2x6 for the capping 
and then we uh, installed the balusters. Uh, we spaced them three and a half inches apart. Just used the width of a two by four as our spacer. Well, this completes our deck build. Uh, it took us three days to do this job, and the next time we're coming up to the cottage to relax. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll catch you later. Bye now.